This is how the chicks looked this morning. On Thursday, April 21st, Belle laid her fourth egg. As she had on previous days, she stayed away from the nest box for most of the day. In the evening, however, we saw her come inside, and that was the first night she spent in the nest box. Mike and I disagreed about whether or not Thursday counted as a day of incubation. For two weeks, we watched her sit and sit and sit. Blue brought her food. She fluffed her feathers and sat some more. Eastern bluebirds typically incubate their eggs for 14 days. Thursday was a day of anticipation. I checked the camera regularly. You may have noticed that we had four eggs, but only three chicks. I'll tell you right now, I won't show anything graphic. I've mentioned that there were dangers lurking about. Thursday afternoon, I checked the video feed and one of the eggs was damaged. I looked at the last video which had been recorded. I screamed. In the video, there was a house wren vigorously trying to punch holes in the eggs. One egg was completely destroyed. Another had a small but clear hole. A third had a hairline fracture. The fourth appeared undamaged. Belle disposed of the badly damaged egg. For the rest of the day, I was dejected. I read that an egg with a hole in it will not hatch. There was no information on fractures. I tried to console myself with the thought that we still had one beautiful blue egg intact. Early the next morning, Friday the 6th of May, the camera recorded Belle removing the eggshell that had been punctured. It was still too dark to see for certain what had prompted this. At 6.30, Belle receives a worm from Blue, but it appears as if she doesn't eat it. Nearing 7 o'clock, it's finally light enough outside to see the small being. He throws his head back in anticipation of being fed. The chick whose shell was punctured survived. Around 11, a chick emerges from the shell which was fractured. Finally, our third chick emerges. The newly hatched chicks can't regulate their body temperature and Belle will have to keep them warm. Bluebirds brood their chicks in this manner for about six days. Then for another couple of days, they will brood them only at night. Right on schedule, Belle spent much of Wednesday, the 11th, outside of the nest box, hunting for insects and feeding the chicks. Late in the evening, she returned for the night. The dark blue stripe, which first appeared on the backs on Monday, the 9th, is the feathers growing underneath their skin. In the latest images, you can see the feathers are starting to emerge on their wings. Their eyes are beginning to open, although they are just little slits. They're growing so quickly. We expect them to fledge at some time between the 21st and the 27th. 